Hey family, this is your sister Dawn B, True Seeker 5000, getting on here because I was tagged in this awesome tag called the book tag. Okay, I was tagged by one of my favorite Christian vloggers, Venix. And I want to call out and tag Alan Nature Hall, Marcus Williams, The Ghetto View, and Mike B. Okay, you guys get in on this awesome tag. Okay, number one question. Um, what's your favorite three books and why? Well, of course, the first favorite book of mine is the Bible because it's my basic instructions before leaving earth book. Okay, it inspires truth and it feeds my spirit and my soul. Uh, the next book is called A Divine Revelation of Hell by Mary Kay Baxter. Uh, I like that book because the from the beginning of the book it scared me straight <laughs> to the end okay that book is crazy scary but good um and the third book is he came to set the captives free because it was a very good storyline about a witch who encountered god i don't want to do any spoilers or anything but check that book out it's really good uh he came to set the captives free um number two if you read the Bible, what two scriptures do you live by and why? Um, I'm inspired by the the parable of the talents of the uh, ten virgins, the five wise virgins part of it. I'm very, very much aware uh, that not everybody is going. That and, and I'm aware of the importance. It teaches me the importance of being ready and being prepared at all times. Um, let's see what was the other scripture uh, that I live by let's, let me think this one is off the top of the dome uh, just basically do unto others as you would have them to do unto you uh, because that is a, a true statement and something that will help you in life you know be a better person it has definitely helped me it may seem simple but it, it, I do revert back to thinking, you know, how do I want a person to treat me? You know, so I try really hard <laughs> and that scripture inspires me to do so. Um, three, what was one of the first books you ever read as a little child? Uh, the Cat in the Hat. <laughs> and I used to also love those Aesop fables as a child. That book was really good with those little short, um, fiction uh stories for kids uh number four do you prefer fiction or non-fictional books i prefer fictional books okay uh, they have a lot of creativity and imagination you know the stretch is wider i think but non-fiction books are good too i mean because it's based off of real life you know it just depends on what it is that i'm looking to get out of the book uh, is it comedy? Is it drama? It just depends. Uh, number five, if you could write a book, what would it be about? I would write a book about how to make money online from home. Okay, I'm a online marketer and I've learned first from some, I have some multi-millionaire mentors and they have taught me some really good stuff and I have been able to help a lot of people. Uh, make money from home. So with everything accumulated um, in one script, one book, it would be that. I love uh, helping people make money from home. So that's my book. Um, number six, if you could write about your life story, what would the title be and why? Uh, it will be about me in the struggle overcoming and being victorious in Christ Jesus. Uh, the title would be Real Truth. That's it. <laughs> Number seven, if you could write about someone in your life, who would it be and why? Uh, I have a, I used to have a, a best friend uh, years ago that I really was drawn to, but she was, she was not a, a good friend. She was a prostitute and uh, she used to tell these stories, these crazy stories from her life. And I was just like, girl, if I could write a book, I would put that in there. And, you know, um, I wasn't, um, 
we didn't share that lifestyle but you know her stories like I was married <laughs> at the time and you know being a wife and you know being a recluse and everything she was like the only person I would go out with and you know reach out to and I felt close to uh, she would tell me these stories and you know how sometimes uh, even though you don't live the life you know like that person but they just have these stories that just have you sitting there like wow you know did you really go through that did that really happen so I would write a story about her life um, I don't know where she is today um, that's been a long time years ago that we were connected and um, when I was living wayward <laughs> you know when you get saved uh, you can't uh, be around certain people who are living contrary to the life that God uh, commands and demands you to live um, she told me that uh, one day <laughs> she said you know since you got saved uh, I'm not really comfortable around you it's because there's something about you that uh, I don't know it just makes me feel funny I feel like I can't say certain things I can't do certain things around you you know so we began to you know drift off from there from that conversation but um let's see here um it will be about her <laughs> i will split the royalties with her i will find her at that point uh n let's see number eight have you read the entire bible and how many times yes i've read it wholly and i've read it three times uh number nine how often do you read books um, not so often. I, if I do, I prefer audiobooks so I can crochet while I listen. <laughs> um, let's see. I was looking into uh, reading up about the Hunger Games. I, I started that book, listening to that. Uh, Ten, if you could write a book about your days in high school, what would you call it and why? Um, I would call it Hustle High because... okay okay <laughs> okay how about high school hustle because that sounded like something else some some world stuff some of y'all talking about let me I'm hustle high i'm going to get it yep you need to be delivered <laughs> i'm gonna pray for you lifting your name up to the lord in an email okay no but um <laughs> i would call it um uh high school hustle how about that um because that's what i did i worked my little caesar's job i worked hard on my grades to get into college and i worked hard in glee club uh, drama club acting on my lines i was mama and raisin in the sun um had a ball um but yeah you know so that's it <laughs> um you know what what you guys would do um if you want to do this tag I'll put the questions down below thank you guys for watching my video um, this is a great tag thanks V Nix and um, you other guys who my tag get on it I want to see it okay make sure you guys like comment subscribe and stay connected with your sister okay go ahead and friend me on Facebook at Truth Seeker Anderson you guys go ahead and be blessed talk to you soon